Hey, guys. Glad y'all could make it back tonight. This is Thursday night. We left off the other night by getting this cleaned up. This uh, wheel cylinder went to O'Reilly's. Got some wheel cylinder kits. $10.51 for the pair. So $5 and a quarter a piece, tax and all. Uh, the new new replacement wheel cylinders was about 12 bucks a piece. So save a little money there. I priced the rear brake shoes for this. It's going to be about $26, $28. So we will have about 38 bucks tied up and getting the rear brakes fixed. And uh, I got to get a rear brake line. So uh, uh, that'll probably be another $12, $15, maybe. Maybe more than that. I don't know. I didn't price that. But uh, nevertheless, we uh, got this wheel cylinder kit. We're going to go ahead and stick this thing together. Because, uh, might as well, huh? Right. Got a little brake fluid here. I usually just use dot three. Let me clean this out. And uh, I'll use this just to pour a little bit in. That's clean. I think that's what it had in it to start with, with brake fluid, you know working with some parts the other night. All right. Okay. Got this. Put a little bit on the finger, put a little bit in there, just for lubrication. Get it good and soaked up. Always put your cup toward the, the inside. A good way of doing the first one is stick it in on this side and push it all the way through. If you want to. These are done. All right, here's your, your metal plunger that your uh, rod hooks on. Put it in on, his, on this side. Push that in. That'll hold that. Now this will go right back in there, just like the other one came out. Might be a little cantankerous, but they will go. Something just to kind of help that lip get in there. Those are a little tough getting in sometimes. Just a little bit more here. These were just kind of hard to get in. So, just got to work with them. I'll be right back, guys, with this in here. Okay, guys, got that end in. As you can see, the rubber's in it. The plunger's on that side. Put my center spring in. Make sure your cup is pointed inward. Put that in. Make sure you don't damage the lip. Just pop that in there like that. Take your piston. 
put it in and the rest of it is repeat. Those uh, seals, in seals, is not easy to get in. And sometimes when you drop it, you'll knock it all apart and you got to start all over again. So, you put your spring in and put your piston, your uh, plunger, your piston rubber seal in. Let me say that one more time, as we've already said it once. I'm glad I'm the only one that has these problems. These aren't the easiest things to do. But at the same time, you're saving a little bit of money. So why not save a little money in the process? That way you can put your money elsewhere. Okay, got that now. Now these are really a bugger to get in. There's always one side will go in and the other one don't want to. That's the trouble with them. They are tough. A little metal ring inside there. You got to get it just right, or it'll just go one sided. Believe me, they will go one sided. And then they'll be oblonged and they won't be in there as you would like. So I'd usually take, get it started, kind of hold it like I need it. screwdriver, go around it, something soft, just like that, as you feel, that metal ring is all the way up in there now, and we got that one in, so that one's ready, other than putting my bleeder back in. I always want to pull those out, clean everything out real good. And uh, and that's ready. Let me put just a little bit of uh, this here on that. Just for a little bit of insurance in those threads. You wonder what I'm doing. I'm putting just a little bit bit of lube on the threads. Just, just a little bit of lube. I usually put bearing grease. That way it stays with it. So you don't want to put the bearing grease up in up in the wheel cylinder of course. But put a little bit on there and then it's lubed up and then it'll work good. Anyway, that's a wheel cylinder kit, guys. So that's the part two of repairing one and rebuilding compared to buying all brand new. That saves you, saves you, uh, say five to seven dollars a side. It takes a little bit of time of cleaning and a little bit of work to where if you, if you got plenty of money and you got that little extra, you know, laying around, you can just run up there and buy a pair of these at the parts store. I got these at O'Reilly's, and uh, they seem to have everything I need any time I go in there. So, and if they don't have it, usually they can get it by the next day. And uh, so far, I haven't had any trouble getting anything. So, I'm uh, pretty well pleased with those guys. But anyway, there's a uh, one of the rear wheel cylinders for a 1979 Camaro Z28. So, y'all guys hang on. I'll be right back. Well, guys, getting here by the fire. Good 
wood stove going. Let's save me some money. Got a little bit of wood stacked up here behind the Delta 88. And uh, we uh, got to remind ourselves every once in a while, we're trying to get to the no-name nationals at the end of September with the, uh, I've started calling it, instead of the Outfit Z, we're going to call it, we're going to call it the uh, OGOZ. Or we could call it the OGZ. Because it's the original car that I'm ever going to do any street drag race, or strip drag race. And I have done a little bit of strip, uh, street racing back when I was young. Of course, I'm not going to say where and what I was doing. I consider it street racing. But uh, I don't do that anymore. I've gotten a little older and my, a little wiser. But uh, uh, we've just got to try to get 500 subscribers, you know. And with that, if it takes hitting that button right over here in the bottom of the corner when you're watching this video. I know there's quite a few people that's watching that's already subscribed, but uh, we need we need everybody that watches to go ahead and just hit that button right right down here and uh, hit that subscribe button. And uh, it's not going to cost you anything. Matter of fact, if you'll hit subscribe tonight, I won't charge you anything for the next episode. So uh, if we get 500, we're guaranteed to get qualified in. But until we get 500, we're not going to get there. So we have... Uh, we had a 100 subscriber giveaway. We had a model car. Matter of fact, y'all just hold your horses right there. All right, guys. We're back. We gave this car away to Mr. Steve Wood because he was one of the commenters on the 100 subscriber giveaway uh, qualifier. And uh, he has yet to contact me so I've tried to reach out I've tried to call out to him I've messaged him on his post where he commented on my page and I'm really needing Steve Wood to get a hold of me but uh, I'm gonna hold that until he does because I don't want to cheat anybody I don't want to take anything away from anybody but I'm gonna give him ample time to get a hold of me so Steve if you're watching message me on this video and uh, I'd like to get this to you because it's uh, you want it for fair and square and uh, I don't want to don't want to cheat nobody out of anything but anyway with that being said we are uh, we're above a hundred subscribers now and I said that we was going to have another giveaway and uh, the next giveaway will be something a little bit bigger, a little bit nicer, but it'll be for 250 subscribers. So if we can get to 250 subscribers pretty soon, I'm not going to put a date on it, but the sooner the better. That way we can just roll on and, and not have to, to uh, work so hard to try to get subscribers. And I, I, know, I know I'm sounding like I'm begging, but I'm not begging. I'm just trying to get the uh, understanding of we need subscribers so but uh, for 250 subscribers we're going to have another giveaway and it's going to be something a little bit nicer and uh, I don't know what it could be but it might have some uh, might have some logo or something on it I'm not I'm not sure but it, it could be something something that you wear and uh, so, you know, we're not, you're not supposed to sell merchandise on your YouTube page until you get 10,000 subscribers. So I'm not selling anything. So, but I know there could be a giveaway that might have something like that. You know, Outfits Garage has, 
that way Outfit's Garage could might get promoted a little bit more. So we're nothing, nothing rich. I can promise you that. We're uh, just four boys that that uh, like to do work on cars and uh, fiddle around on race cars and stuff. But that uh, this car, the number ten mini stock here, it's not my car. It's uh, another man's car that has a body shop and a salvage yard. And uh, it's his car. We we took it sitting in a barn. He'd had it sitting in a barn for probably six or seven years or longer, maybe eight. And we took it and got it back in shape and upgraded a lot of things, updated a lot of things, and uh, got it looking a lot better. And so we're we're trying to uh, get this thing to roll again. They have. They've actually cut this class out most everywhere around here now. So what we're going to do is get it good and good and cleaned up, running and and winterized and all real good. We're going to take it back out to his shop. He's got a nice place to, to store it. And uh, we're going to take it out there. And it'll make room for the OGOZ, whatever. I just call it the Z28. Let me just do that. The OG Z28. I don't care. It's just a car, the T-top. But uh, we're gonna get it over here, get it up on some jack stands, do some more work on it. We're gonna get the brakes working. We're gonna get uh, not very far off. We're, we're gonna be getting some pistons in. We're gonna get some pistons on some rods. We're gonna get some bearings, some rings, some gaskets. And we're gonna start building a 327 to go off in it. and. Uh, Many of you suggested that I put a put the uh, five speed in the car. Give me some more input on that, if y'all will. Uh, five speed or a turbo three fifty. So I know what a five speed will do. It'll it'll it's pretty much guaranteed to shift as long as you got a good clutch and you got oil in the transmission. Where that automatic, if it's not just right, I know how they are. We done blew one up in Matthew's number 24 race car over here. So, uh, so we, that's the reason why we went ahead and went with three speed in it. But this one, the, if we go that route, we'll have a uh, 327 with a five, late model five speed transmission in it. 342 gears, posi track rear end. Ought to be a fun little car with a uh, 300 horse heads, big valves, big springs, big cam, and uh, try to have a big four barrel on top of it. So gas may be $32 a gallon by then, but uh, maybe we'll be able to buy three or four gallons and have a little fun, but uh, we'll just do what we can. But until then, we need, uh, looks like we're needing about four, a little over 470, Right at 400 and uh, 488 subscribers is what we're needing. No, we don't need 488. We need, I don't know how many. I can't add right now. I'm tired. It's, but uh, anyway, we got 112 is what we have. So I'm, I'm, I'm uh, need 300. I don't know how many we need. Y'all know how many we need. I'm all messed up. So anyway, I'm tired. Fix to shut this thing off. Go in the house and uh, sit back and rest a while. And uh, I need a little inspiration, guys. I need a little help getting this thing going. So if we can get another another 150 subscribers, that'd really make me happy. That'd probably get me a little bit more inspired to jump in here and get uh, a motor together, get uh, transmission hooked up to it, get the motor and transmission in that car, get a drive shaft built for it, fire that thing up. Boy, wouldn't, that, wouldn't that be nice? I think we'll do that. That'll be the next thing we do. We'll try to get on that motor as soon as I get the rear brakes finished up and the rear brake lines on it. And the, We're going to try to get the brakes done while the engine's not in it. That way we can get all around everything. We're going to clean everything up under the hood wire brush everything we're going to paint it matter of fact let's go look at it real quick 
and uh, pull right over here, take a look. I found a little bit of damage, as you can see, right here. It's got a wrinkle right here. It's got a little wrinkle right there where the, I think they said that they might have hit a ditch with this thing, so I've got to get this thing checked out and get it up on some jack stands, on four corners, and do some measuring, <clears throat> make sure the frame isn't, the front stub isn't tweaked, and if it is, I've got to get a hold of my buddy over at Charlie's Paint and Body, uh, Ed Covington. He's one of our sponsors. You see him right back here. Charlie's Auto Paint and Body. That's a good guy right there, Ed. Ed Covington bought that from Charlie Adcock. And uh, he's had a good business ever since. And uh, I'll see if, if this is tweaked, I'll either, I'll either get it to him from a sponsor that owns this car, he has a body shop. One of the two, we'll get it fixed. And, uh, but we're gonna wire brush all this. We're gonna wire brush it all, every bit of it. We got some paint, we're gonna paint it. And uh, get some new motor mounts for it. Get our brakes hooked up. I'm looking forward to getting a little bit farther along on this thing. So, right now we're at a little bit of a stalemate. My daughter and her, her husband, my son-in-law, is in from Massachusetts this week. They live up, up north and uh, been visiting with them quite a bit, so I hadn't been out here doing a whole lot and just been spending time with them because they live so far away. It's, uh, it's good to just sit and visit, visit family and uh, because... The way things have been going, you just never know how long you have family members. And uh, my aunt passed away up in Missouri. Her funeral will be this coming Monday. So she was 91 years old. She's lived a long life. Her husband, my uncle George, he's he passed on back in the 90s. Or uh, maybe it was either the 90s or early 2000s. I can't remember. But it's been a good long while. And... Uh, my dad's gone. Several of my aunts and uncles have gone. And uh, working on cars just ain't the same without my dad around. So I try to do all I can with my boy so that it'll make him feel what I felt growing up and uh, makes it a lot more special having, having that person there by you. And uh, sometimes you may not get along together get along on everything but that's part of part of two opinions so but anyway I'll quit rambling here I've rambled probably way longer than what y'all want to hear but uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, tell somebody about us we're gonna get into more work here y'all see we are working on it we have got a wheel cylinder built so We've got another brake kit right here for it. So uh, we're going to get back on this thing as soon as I get the other one off. I haven't had time. I've been, like I say, been visiting the family. But uh, we're going to get fired back up on this thing, and we're going to make some progress. We're going to make it pretty quick. So I'm uh, going to order the pistons for this motor. And like I say, we've got the crankshaft. It's right here ready to go. And we've got some pistons and rods right there. I'm going to swap them rods over. Those are good X rods. I'm going to clean them up. Put the new pistons that's coming in for this. Be some flat tops. Got that big bump stick back there. We're going to throw in here. We've got to get some solid lifters. And we're going to make some noise. And it's going to rattle. And it's going to roll. We're going to have a good time. So, y'all guys, like, subscribe. Comment, tell me what you think, and uh, tell me which one trans uh, on the transmission is automatic or five-speed. I know automatic works better for drag racing, but this sure does sound good going through some gears. Uh, <laughs>
So uh, anyway, like, subscribe, comment. We'll catch you later.